Speech is an action. It is an action that is in between the subtle action of thoughts and the gross action of doing. Speech is an ability and a means of communication. What we are shows up in our speech also, not only in our actions. Speech is a direct reflection of our thoughts. And here also, a lot of impurities are seen. They are because of the internal impurities that appear in the speech or these impurities are acquired from the society. So let us go through a short list of impurities that the speech can acquire and then we'll try to find some solutions, tips and tricks and finally we'll discover the effects of good speech, pure speech on our spiritual progress and also on our worldly life, the quality of life. The first impurity that you will see in speech is excessive speech. It consists of mostly useless talk. It is an addiction of some kind and if people, they don't get to speak for a while, they become anxious, they feel uneasy. They need to call somebody and talk some useless things. They can talk for many hours. Their topics, they are random, they drift. It is mostly ranting. There is no awareness of what they are speaking about. It is more telling, less listening. It is a way to kill time for many people. And this gossip gets into the mind and continues in the mind. Talking too much, talking uselessly, talking to kill your time or talking because it is, an, it is an addiction of some kind, is an impurity. The second impurity is the vulgar speech. Many times the speech of a person is very cheap. The person uses bad words often. The person talks in a way that shows a lack of education and manners. He shouts, uses dirty language. And this can happen to those who are highly educated also, probably because of the bad company or probably because of carelessness that who needs to speak nicely here? We are all friends and drops down to the cheapest kind of language. The bad words can be acquired from friends mostly or from movies or even parents. There are people who cannot speak a single sentence without inserting a bad word there. And you can only imagine the state of their minds. It is full of cheap language, vulgar language, vulgar thoughts, cheap thoughts. And there is some kind of mental retardation also that accompanies this impurity that some people think that it is cool to talk like this. If I don't use dirty language, people are going to call me some kind of nerd or somebody. I need to use the street language to appear cool. Another impurity is unclear language. Where the person speaks, but nobody can understand what they are speaking. They talk as if they are talking to themselves. The volume is so low that it becomes difficult to listen to them. Or their pronunciation is so bad that people misunderstand them and they lose interest talking to such a person. Some people have real physical difficulties such as stammering or the old people, they cannot pronounce properly because of uh, old age. This also can be seen as impurity because uh, communication is suffering. If somebody is asking you again and again to repeat what you said, it means that speech is unclear. A related uh, impurity is bad accent. Even if you are talking something which is very nice, very important, and you are using beautiful words. But if the accent is bad or if the accent is very heavy, then nobody can understand it. And this happens especially when we talk in a foreign language. If we talk as if it is the native language, we simply exchange the words. People don't bother to learn the accent of the foreign language or any other language. In this country, we have 40 or 50 languages and then we have 300 or 400 different dialects. Now you can imagine the nightmare of accents here. Even the regional languages, when they are spoken, 
they acquire an accent when one language is spoken by all these people of different mother tongues it becomes many languages it becomes really difficult to understand what they are saying so people don't take uh, the trouble to learn the accent i know it is unavoidable there will be some uh, elements of the native language mother tongue that get into the foreign language or or if you speak any other language other than your mother tongue but it should be clear enough for uh, a person who speaks some other accent sometimes the accent is so heavy that it becomes impossible to understand what is said next impurity is uh, that people who speak more than one language they mix the languages together it becomes annoying for a person who does not know more than one language either they insert the words of other languages or they switch languages one sentence in one language the other in some other language and sometimes they insert the third language there this is a very common impurity in this country where everybody knows at least four or five languages where there are families where different people speak different languages mother is from one state the father is from other state and the child needs to switch languages and if he is uh, very unfortunate his grandmother will be from totally another state actually such children they grow up with uh, an accent and a language that is a mixture of all these and when they talk to somebody who is not from their family it is a very odd situation nobody understands him some people mix languages just to show that they know the other language and that they are educated in that language there is a annoying habit uh, i have found in some people here that they speak a sentence in one language and they repeat the same sentence in another language i don't know why they do that but it is very annoying and a waste of time and not only that these impurities they mix together like there is a mixture of languages and some of the words are spoken in a bad accent and most of it will be unclear and they are having a gossip using very very vulgar words the impurities they multiply like this some people talk while eating or while chewing the tobacco <laughs> or the betel nut these are all examples of uh, impure speech and you must have noticed that it is more common to find an impure speech than a pure one it is very rare to find somebody who speaks clearly and beautifully next impurity is loudness especially in this country we see that people speak very loudly you can easily guess who is visiting your neighbor's house why because they talk so loudly that you can you don't need to be present there some people talk very loudly in the phone if they are in a train the whole train can listen to the conversation some people have a bad habit of talking from a distance two neighbors they live in the adjacent buildings and they don't take the trouble to come down and visit the other's house they simply shout from their house some people are always in a leader mode which means they talk as if they are giving a speech to a big gathering there without a microphone they cannot talk without shouting and this is an impurity another impurity is repetitions and many people suffer from this thing and they repeat a single word so many times that the speech becomes um, very annoying common words that are repeated are words like like you know you see and in this country we have a very common word very popular which is no you are going no i'm i'm eating no and so on and i don't know why people use them nobody is free from impurities of the speech and i find it very surprising because this is a human quality it is very important these are probably called the filler words where the person is trying to think something but cannot keep his mouth shut and starts using filler words and some people use uh, two or three filler words 
in one sentence after a while it becomes unbearable like i was going there like and i fell down like and i it hurts like so much like what <laughs> why do you like it so much and as i said those who know many languages they're fond of repeating the same sentence in other language sometimes they repeat the complete paragraph in another language sometimes there is a complete sentence which is added to every sentence these are the impurities another impurity is boring and monotonous speech where the person keeps talking on the same topic for a long time he has made the point but goes on and on and on and in every day he talks about the same thing and he repeats the same sentences same words and he never pauses to see what is happening to the person who is trying to listen if the person is not interested no problem still needs to speak it another kind of impurity is dry speech where no emotions are involved in the speech it looks like uh, a narration in the documentary or something like that where the person simply reads out and the um, content such as a news reader very plain very monotonous and dry speech you will never come to know whether the person is happy or sad or excited or dull this happens most of the time when they are giving a speech or giving a lecture for example it simply makes the other person fall asleep because it's so dry there is no juice in the words another impurity i have seen uh, is mostly behavior related when people speak in crowd if there are more than two people the situation becomes very odd because one person dominates the conversation and the other they try to speak in between and some people they simply interrupt everybody and they start talking in the crowd those who are loudest they get the attention so slowly it becomes like a fish market it is not possible to converse with more than one or two people but they gather together and they talk nobody knows who is talking what another impurity is when uh, somebody talks without any confidence and the speech is uh, slow the speech is erroneous makes a lot of corrections and the speech is inconsistent does not know what he is talking about tries to hide the face tries to hide his mouth while talking tries to look away and the other people who are listening they lose interest there is hardly any communication it is very common when you talk about something about which you don't know and there you are going to lack confidence but uh, i have seen this happen to many people where they habitually are not confident when they speak especially women they blush too much or they think too much or they uh, looks like as if they are trying to run away another impurity is very flowery language where the content is nil but is uh, decorated with such great words it sounds like poetry and sometimes the person will go ahead and start singing it so it actually sounds like the dialogues in the old movies where the hero is trying to please the girl using a very very flowery flattering language and the other person does not know what he is talking about because there are so many metaphors and so many useless words there which may look beautiful from outside but the meaning is zero this is an impurity now these are not so serious and they are probably very funny kind of impurities um, but uh, now we take a look at something which is uh, serious many people always talk negative they talk in a bitter way even if uh, it's a good thing even if it's a positive topic they turn it into something bitter their inner bitterness shows up in their language their inner negativity shows up in the language at a place where one would rather not talk they need to talk something negative negative speech bitter speech is an impurity there is a difference between indirect speech and bitterness the bitterness is meant to cause insult 
there are people who need to insult at least somebody to start their day even if the situation is neutral they need to find something negative there and start talking about it this is an impurity in the speech because it spreads negativity and the major form of impurity that is found everywhere nobody is free from this and that is lying most of the time people are found lying sometimes it becomes a mental disease and they cannot stop lying they habitually lie they need to cook up stories while talking because the normal gossip is not enough they need to tell a lie to derive some kind of entertainment out of conversation and in worst cases the speech is manipulative people lie to get what they want to keep others in dark to or to use others people lie to hide their mistakes hide their crimes and people lie to show their high status or superiority which is a speech version of the behaviors and other things that we have seen in the previous episodes probably talking in superlatives about myself makes me superior automatically so they cook up all kinds of stories to pose a better picture of themselves and sometimes even if they do something very very stupid their story turns it into something which poses themselves as better than the other you know i drink that kind of wine which is imported from that rich country now this is a lie and here the stupidity is being covered with some kind of notion that the wine is coming from this country so it has to be something great so multiple disorders here multiple impurities here and you can guess that the mind of such a person would be simply a pile of impurities i'm trying to not use any bad words and vulgar language or bitter language here but you need to describe the negative situation here lying is a big topic actually there are professions that are founded on lying in every aspect of your life you will find there are liars everywhere your leaders are lying the politicians are lying your bosses are lying your employees are lying your parents are lying your wife and your sister is lying the advertisements on your tv they are lying the newspapers are lying magazines lies even the photos that are printed on the, these magazines they are lies your teacher is lying your guru is lying to you your doctor is lying to you if you are rich there are feet lickers they are lying to you if you are beautiful there are opportunist people who are lying to you if you are ugly and nobody yes they are lying to you there are some people who lie from morning to evening there is nothing else in their lives some people are earning a lot of money simply by lying deception is human nature and that shows up most clearly in the speech and that is the biggest impurity that humans have if you don't agree with what i'm saying you need to do a little bit of research here what is going on with the speech most of the time it is a lie of some kind sometimes people lie just to be polite do you want water no no i'm not thirsty i'm not hungry how are you feeling i'm great i'm good just to appear polite and mannered and they think that this is a good thing that i have said something positive but it is a lie people lie to please others thinking that i have done something good so it's a big subject and there is something which is worse than lying and that is violent speech commanding speech or speech full of anger or a speech where the person uses violent words for example a speech full of words like kill or hit where every sentence is formed that shows that there is anger in the mind of that person you will find that a lot of criminals they use this kind of speech where everything they say is violence or it is commanding or it is insulting or it is dominating so how to clean up these impurities of the speech and believe me it is going to be a big job it is going to be difficult 
And that's why people don't do it really. And people take their speech very, very lightly. And they are not even aware of what they're talking about. So there is no question of clearing it up. So for a seeker, it is a challenge, but it can be done. All you need to do is become aware of what you speak and how you speak. Once you become aware, it becomes possible to control the speech. Otherwise not. Otherwise it happens mechanically. Stop before you speak. And the golden rule is remain silent. Do not speak. Have this strong resolution, strong intent that I am not going to speak. And that is impossible because you, we need to speak in our daily lives, in the social life. But what will happen is you will speak only when it becomes very necessary and you will speak only that which is needed in shortest possible time because of this intention to not speak. And that may sound a little bit extreme, but extreme situations demand extreme measures. Some people can go on a fast where they remain silent for whole day or sometimes for whole week also. But that is too extreme. What we can do is we can cut down the useless part of the speech. Where there is no need to speak, we should not speak. So that takes care of the gossip. It is a habit. In this way, you are going to save a lot of energy because talking takes up a lot of energy. And you can utilize this energy to do something good. Or you can say something nice. Secondly, become aware of what kind of words you use. Whether your language is cheap and shallow and sound like a homeless rowdy. Never underestimate the retardation human mind can go through, go into. There is no limit. You think vulgar speech is just fun? It's not serious? Well, it does not stop there. It becomes worse. Isolate yourself from the dirt. The speech will start purifying itself. Other thing is you read and listen to good speech and you will start copying it. That is our natural mechanism, learning mechanism. If we surround ourselves with good speech, people who talk nicely, nowadays it is possible because of the videos and audio content, you will acquire good words. You will acquire habit of speaking nicely. So vulgarity comes from outside really. And obviously you need to be aware of what words you are using. So pause before you form a sentence if you suffer from this impurity. Speak slowly. Think before you speak. It's very easy, tried and tested method. Form the sentence completely in your mind before saying it. And very soon this process will become smooth and faster. Initially it may look like that you are pausing a lot. But then the mind picks up, the intellect picks up and in a split second you get the perfect sentence to say without the bad words. And there is no need to pretend to be educated, to be scholarly or something. Use the scholarly words or uncommon words, heavy words, if they are needed. But just do, don't throw them around just to show that I am also educated. So the pretension is going to cause an odd situation. It's not going to purify your speech. If your speech is unclear and you don't have any physiological issues, then you can use a trick which many people use and that is record your voice. Keep the microphone at sufficient distance, a feet or two from you and then speak normally and try to listen to your own voice. And if you feel like crying after listening to what you have recorded, yes, your speech is unclear. Now stand in front of a mirror, start practicing good speech. Speak clearly. If your pronunciations are bad, go and buy a dictionary which speaks words. Nowadays on internet you can find these websites where they tell you how it is pronounced. Stammering is a dysfunction, but it can be cured a little bit. By pausing before saying, stammering happens when the thoughts are coming so quickly that uh, your speech apparatus cannot keep up with it. So pause a little bit, slow down your mind a little bit, complete the sentence in your mind and then speak slowly, confidently. 
is there are causes of stammering that are not really speed related for example lack of confidence also causes stammering fear causes it so get rid of these impurities before you try to fix it when the root impurity is gone your speech will become clear automatically speak loudly but not too loudly speak slowly but not so slowly that everybody falls asleep now the bad accent and i also suffer from this and it's a big problem really because it takes a lot of training to copy the accent especially of a foreign language and as you grow old it will become more and more difficult to fix your accent so start early like children they have no problem at all acquiring the accent so how do we do, do that listen to a lot of speech which has that good accent in it simply copy it that's all i try to do that i'm still not perfect in it but is better than <laughs> a lot of accent that i hear around me and there is no need to pretend to be a native speaker you can just speak clearly that's all we need there is no need to have that call center accent but anyway that is better than having a very very heavy accent if you are thinking in many languages at the same time then your speech will also contain many languages sometimes i have seen there are two or three languages always present in any kind of speech and i also suffered from this impurity and that was fixed by a very firm determination that i am not going to mix words from different languages unless it becomes very very necessary nothing else is going to help you and if you are around people who use mixed language then you will acquire it you will start speaking like them so when you are around such a person be extra careful be extra aware that don't take the influence on on yourself be determined It does not matter who is talking like what you need to talk in a pure way use the pure language do not mix languages sometimes i land in a funny situation where i'm talking in hindi to somebody and it is extremely pure because i learned to speak pure hindi and the person says can you please say the same thing in hindi again and i said it is hindi you have forgotten the language because many people they don't even know the hindi words for the cheap language they use the impurity is very high so i had this kind of impurity and i had to use a very strong determination and yes pause complete the sentence in your mind in proper language and if you find that you have mixed words there just simply substitute with a good word in the original language when you find somebody else who is switching languages you stay at your language do not switch languages with the other person you impress your language on the other don't take on their impression and you will improve this is guaranteed and there is no need to be very very hard and fast about it sometimes one or two words can leak from other languages or your mother tongue into the into the conversation which is okay like names of the vegetables or names of the spices it is perfectly okay if you use those words so why are people confused why why are their thoughts so confusing because their language is confusing they don't know what they're talking about most of the time i have seen that people talk loudly because they are surrounded by noise when your tv is playing at the full volume and you have no other choice but to shout if you want to say something if you are habitual of talking in a train or in a bus and you are going to shout you are going to be very loud and this shouting behavior is acquired from others mostly from parents and all so the a good solution is to relocate to some place where it is peaceful so that you don't need to shout you don't need to be loud when you start talking turn off the tv mute the tv pause your music and so on never talk to somebody across the street always go to them go near them and then talk nicely in a normal voice do not shout in the phone just switch to messaging if you, if you think you are in a factory or in a train full of noisy people and there is no need to shout you can simply say that i'll call you after some time or message that person 
it's okay if somebody starts starts talking loudly it is human nature to match the volume you also start talking loudly and you need to be aware here if somebody starts talking loudly just interrupt that person and ask him to turn down the volume you're not deaf you can listen normally the situation is so bad that if you don't talk loudly people think that you don't want to talk they go away and some people talk loudly in this culture because nobody pays attention to you if you don't talk loudly if you are like a mouse no nobody is going to pay attention to you if you are talking loudly yes your job gets done especially in the office or meetings or places like that then i have seen this myself you go to the mechanic and very softly you request that please fix this thing for me or something like this and he simply ignores you <laughs> you go to him talk very loudly for 5 minutes what is wrong with your car or your bike and then then he takes a little bit of notice he notices that oh, something is wrong here he needs it so this is a culture thing also you see sometimes you cannot avoid it about the repetitions yes i also suffered from this impurity a lot and i repeat a lot of words sometimes especially when i'm not aware of what i'm speaking the repetitive filler words they start coming out of the mouth it is very annoying and i fixed it because i was ashamed of listening to myself because i record a lot almost every day i record something and when i listen to it when i edit it it is very embarrassing to see that i am using a filler word after every other word now the editing becomes a pain sometimes the situation is so bad that we simply ignore these words we don't even notice them we don't listen to them so i got rid of this very annoying habit simply because i listen to my own speech so i recommend it you record yourself check what you do <laughs> you record your conversations see how many filler words are there it is okay if there is one or two after 5 or 10 minutes it's possible but if there are 20 filler words in one sentence that means it is not a effective speech it's impure speech that means there's something wrong in the intellect somewhere that means the, there is hardly any awareness there of what you're speaking so all mechanical repetitions and do not repeat the same sentence in other language repetition is usually required when you want to emphasize something and if you emphasize each and every sentence then there is no emphasis remaining there it is all an important talk you don't need to show others that i know this other better superior language by repeating your sentences in that language simply switch to that language and yes the other person is not going to understand you and you still need to show the other person that you know this other lang- language which helps to increase your status or something like that then you are in a hard situation here look at this nobody cares what languages you know they need to have a good conversation that's all they need to know what are you saying that's all there is no need to bring your superiority here or to to show that you are you have a education of some other kind this is a mental disease even if you are a good person and you don't have all these uh, impurities but you never check whether the other person really likes what you are talking about is taking interest in what you are talking about you can uh, guess that your can your talk is very boring by simply looking at the face of the other person if the other person is looking here and there if they they start they pull out their phone and start checking it while you are still talking and uh, if they start yawning and turn their body the other way like they are trying to escape and they start playing drums on the table and so on that is a sign that your speech is now very boring and monotonous that is the time when you should either stop or change topic to something more interesting know that the other person is not interested in your what you are saying it does not matter if it is highly interesting to you very difficult to find a person who can listen to you for a long time it's very difficult so what i do is i insert a few distractions here and there after 2 or 3 minutes in the conversation 
<laughs> to match the attention span of the other person but there is no real uh, solution to it sometimes you need to speak for long hours like in a lecture or like i am speaking right now then you don't have uh, the audience in front of you so there is no solution for this change your topics often but not too often finish the topic before you change it and then it will become less boring insert some emotion in your speech if you are happy show it through your speech use the proper words to show that you are happy if you are sad same thing if you are angry insert the anger bring the expressions in your eyes on your face while you talk that makes your speech more engaging and it it helps in effective communication also dry speech is highly boring and some people try to insert jokes and all but they, that is annoying mostly we can detect when the joke was inserted forcefully in the conversation or in the lecture and nobody laughs at these jokes do not talk in crowd if you really want to talk to somebody take that person away from the crowd away from the noise talk one to one do not jump in the crowd and shout yes you can say one or two sentences but you cannot conduct a whole conversation among six people at the same time if you lack confidence the problem is the lack of confidence you cannot make your speech confident while remaining like this so get rid of your shyness or lack of confidence or fear practice public speaking practice in front of a mirror record your voice again and practice in front of a guinea pig your brother or sister or your friend talk to them and i also suffered from this impurity that uh, could not speak to people properly because of the fear of uh, some kind people are going to laugh at me or probably i'm going to make a mistake probably i'll insult the other person by saying something bad or probably they don't like me so they're not going to listen to me anyway and so on there can be many reasons for lack of confidence and if you get rid of them you will be able to speak nicely to anybody to any number of people now i can speak to thousand people i can address them on any stage if you have a command on your topic if you have a command on your subject if you know what you're talking about then this fear will disappear you won't be afraid so you can bring anybody in front of me i can talk clearly confidently and that is because i know what i'm talking about and don't feel bad saying sorry when you do not know what to speak just zip your lips there's no need to speak all the time you can listen sometimes if you made a mistake just say that sorry i made a mistake i wanted to say something else i meant this and then continue there is no need to become nervous because oh i said something which i shouldn't have said now the rest of your speech is going to be nervousness stammering and vibrating shaking that is how i got rid of um, my fears by practicing by getting a good command on the subjects that i talk about and if i don't know the subject i don't talk about it it's very simple there is no need to show off you remain silent the more knowledge you have the more pure will be your speech otherwise you will fill it up with nonsense or it will become boring monotonous repetitive you must have seen this people who are very knowledgeable they are very interesting you want to listen to them for hours they have always something interesting to say and they say it clearly it's not dry it is full of emotions they don't need to insert jokes forcefully they use puns and things like that to keep the interest on they insert suspense in the talk our minds like these kind of talks and you will get this art by watching these very very interesting people they don't need to lie they don't need to pretend and they don't need to tell other that they are educated in this kind of school in the other language to get the respect out of others everybody respects them naturally people want to talk to them people want to be around them you just copy them copy their style make your own language like that do not lick feet 
using your speech. If somebody looks good, you say it in two words and then move on. You don't need to <laughs> sing a song in front of that person like they do in the movies. If you like somebody, just say, oh yes, I like this and that thing about you and then shut up. There is no need to go on talking about it for an hour. Do not use the words that they use in movies and songs to compose your speech. It looks odd. It is annoying. Use ordinary words. There is no need to embellish your speech. Do you think that I am appearing interesting by making my speech very flowery, decorative? If you ask me, it sounds fake. The next impurity that we discussed, uh, the negative uh, speech, and I also suffered from it. And I found out that it is because the people that surrounded me had this kind of behavior. That I always heard something negative while there was a conversation going on. You know what he did and something negative. These things are so expensive these days, something negative. I was not feeling well and then I went to the doctor, something negative. When you are surrounded by negative people, when there is bitterness around you, you will become like that and your speech will become like that. So how did I solve that? I just kicked them out, all, all of them. Anybody who starts talking negative, the first thing I do is, I get annoyed. I do not tolerate. Yes, one or two sentences are okay because you see, the world is a negative place most of the time and then the, the, the negativity appears. Now, who, who, what can we do about it? But your whole day is filled with negative conversation. And that is not healthy for your mind. You will grow up like this and you'll spend your life like this. And nobody will want to talk to you. This is the sign that people leave you. They cut the phone. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. The signal is not proper here. And they cut the phone. It usually means either you're very boring or you're very negative. Nobody likes such people. Probably they like each other, but the positive people don't like negative talk. So I got rid of it by getting rid of these people because negativity comes from outside. Who will want to be negative by themselves? Secondly, I developed the sensitivity to the negativity. This is very important. If you are indifferent, if you are insensitive to negativity, you are going to tolerate the negative speech and then you will start doing the same thing. It's monkey see, monkey do thing. Our minds are like that. So the sensitivity ensures that you hear the negative word and it causes pain and suffering in you. So my advice is simply interrupt the other person, change the topic to something positive and if they are kind of addicted to negativity, they will leave you. That is guaranteed. They cannot stand the positivity. Some people feed on negativity and they need to bring up a negative topic to get their food of negativity. So if they can extract negativity from you, they can make you bitter, then they get their lunch. It is like vampirism. Actually, there is such a word <laughs> where people feed on the negativity. They feel good if they can ruin your day. So avoid such people and then you will also stop talking negative automatically. Surround yourself with positivity and the same positivity will show up in your speech. You will notice a trend that um, the gross kind of impurities, the impurity of the body or impurity of dirty clothes or <laughs> things like that. It is very easy to get rid of them if you have them or it is very easy to not acquire those impurities. And many of you must be laughing at me when I was telling you to wash your clothes and brush your teeth and things like that. Because yes, we don't suffer from these impurities. We have enough intelligence to not do that. But I had to say it because I see it in front of my eyes every day that there are gross impurities in people, many seekers also. But because speech is a subtler form of behavior, you will find that lying is present in everybody. And the trend is that as it becomes more and more subtle, non-physical, you are not going to notice it and you are going to ignore it and so it remains in you. So this is the story of everybody, not only seekers. And therefore, the most impure thing that we have is our intellect. We are going to go there. No hurry. Speech is in between.
in the gross and the subtle as we noted and the biggest impurity it has is lying which nobody notices except a very aware person you can guess the result here that nobody likes such people they lie a lot but they don't like liars so the first thing you will lose is your the trust nobody will trust you even for a small thing it has a very bad effect on your life all your relations will be spoiled because you lie to your partners also everybody will hate you because nobody likes being lied to even the liars don't like that it becomes mental disease very quickly and think about a seeker who is after truth whose life is devoted to finding truth and if that person starts lying what kind of spiritual seeking is that when you are searching for truth and all you do is lying how to stop it it is very difficult actually because it becomes a habit and uh, the way it stopped for me was extreme suffering it generated a lot of suffering and then that suffering took care of uh, habitual lying again sensitivity is a good thing you need to be sensitive of liars and you need to be sensitive of your own speech check whether it has the impurity and if you get annoyed by your own lying then it is a good sign that there is some hope that you will stop it there was a time when i used to lie 20 times a day and then i used to forget that i did that it was not a big thing you see the whole society is like this so it is very easy to acquire this habit people are trying to compete in who can lie more so unfortunately i got into this kind of company but i should not blame others for my weakness get rid of liars first and cultivate a respect for truth so that you become sensitive to your own words are they true check it again and again and again are you sure that you mean that which you are saying are you sure that you are not cooking it up you are not making up a story here you need a lot of awareness for that you need a lot of sensitivity for that you should feel the pain of a lie if it is spoken by you you should feel it doubly and if it is spoken by other you should be able to detect it a solution that i have found is that uh, do not trust anybody in this culture almost everybody lies you think she is my mother he is my father well they are also lying to you all the time he is my child well he is also lying to you she is my wife she is the biggest liar so i found that not expecting people to tell the truth is a good solution in that way you don't get annoyed you don't become angry with others because you never expected them to say something which is true and that makes you a little bit peaceful it does not matter what people say you do your duty you do not say anything which is false and sleep peacefully sometimes you will need to hide things and the solution is you simply tell them that i cannot tell you these things don't ask me sometimes you need to say positive things where the situation is really negative and i have seen that remaining silent is a good strategy there don't say anything if you don't have a lot to say then you will stop lying for example when you gossip you cook up the stories it is lying if you don't gossip there is no need to lie you simply say that which is necessary and then get out of there if you need to talk to that person for half an hour then after 2 minutes you will ra- you will run out of the true things to say and then you will start gossiping which is all lie of some kind if you need to manipulate somebody to get what you want you are in a bad relation or in a bad job and then you will need to change your lifestyle like this you will need to get out out of that relation become independent do something which is more honest and that will cut down your lying to a minimal <laughs> amount i had to move away from the society i had to take up a job which does not involve a lot of communication and lot, lot and many people and then i took on the spiritual path where there is passion for truth and that gets rid of lying what is the effect of not lying peace of mind you don't need to remember what lies you have been telling to others and you are not affected by the lies of others it will be difficult but uh, there will be a um, 
peace in you that you did your part you did not lie you let the other people lie you cannot do much you do not lie that is all we ensure oh he lied to me i am going to lie to him double there is no difference between him and you then both are liars you tell the truth and you get out of there there is no need to compete with anybody i am going to suffer a lot of harm if i say the truth here well you are in a wrong situation you are in a wrong place already it is going to be harmful anyway say the truth and do not deal with that person or do not enter into that contract or that job or that situation again don't go to that place again love for truth will bring the truth very quickly to you if all you do is lying then forget about truth you will never find it there are miraculous effects of not lying if you don't believe me you can try the experiments sometimes things that you say they start becoming true there is power in the speech which many people don't know because their speech is completely impure completely corrupted the words have power these sounds they have power in them the whole illusion is created out of sounds vibrations so when we purify our speech you will find extraordinary effects on your mind yes that is the biggest effect that you will see in your body yes the body can recognize a lie because the lies are told when there is a adverse situation the body knows this it becomes sick if the owner is oh, lying all the time it something must be wrong here because lying is a defensive mechanism also and it is going to make your relations much better you will get rid of liars and honest people will start respecting you they will want to be with you they will want to be your friends because there is trust now they trust whatever you say since last 5 years you never said any even once even one sentence which was incorrect and that gives rise to extreme trust and friendship even the whole guru field is going to be with you because you have become a messenger of truth and i can go on and on the list of benefits of not lying telling the truth that list is very long it is million times longer than the benefits you get by lying yes you won't believe me <laughs> because we are trained not to believe we are trained not to trust anybody i have seen a phenomena that people trust the liars a lot those who are telling the truth there is no trust for them it is a reverse thing like your politicians they lie every day 24 by 7 because there is no other way to rule others the only way to rule others is by deception an honest person cannot become a ruler but you still believe those words every day you believe each and every word why is that there are some evolutionary re- reasons that we are evolved to obey our leaders the alpha and we are evolved to trust the words of the leader we know that he is lying but our lower minds lower layers they have no clue they obey they trust and similarly we trust beautiful people even if even they even if they are top class liars an ugly person if he tells the truth you are not going to believe him a beautiful person lies non stop continuously but you want to believe that person there are biases there are evolutionary biases in us that are ready to accept all kinds of lies a good example is religious indoctrination you know it's all lie but you don't want to let go of it <laughs> there is huge mental resistance in you to let go of these made up stories that were told to you in the name of religion what is a religion it's a big lie but are you going to give up your religion because it's it's a lie no you want to protect it you will kill the other person who says that look there is a lie in your religion you will kill that person but you will never let go of it this is an impurity this is a mental disease let me tell you very few people are even aware of this thing there are preferences towards lying in our minds open your mind and see it it is a messed up place there are too many impurities there a fraction of them they manifest as lying and the preferences towards lying and liars it is not a straightforward affair people want to be deluded 
I'm telling them, look, you are not the body, the world is not uh, real and so on. They don't want to listen to this. Look at this evidence, look at that evidence. No, 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 it's all wrong. What do you want then? I want gold. I want your land. I want to enslave your children. I want to kill your kind. I have the big bomb. I am superior. I like lying. That is why I am alive. It has survival value and so nobody wants to give it up. They will prefer a lie that is somehow supportive of their survival than a truth which immediately causes a reaction of self-defense, which is threatening, which is scary to the ego. You wonder why so few people are there in the spiritual field, although it is the only truth there is and the answer is fear. People prefer a lie which is safe, offers them security rather than a truth that is scary. So I'm going to tell you the bitter truth here that <laughs> very difficult to remove this impurity. It's a matter of survival. Everybody does this. And the problem is people think that it is okay to lie. When I ask people, why did you lie? What do you mean? Why, why, why did I lie? You wanted me to tell him everything? Are you stupid? What should I say to that? Yes, I'm stupid. But you are mentally retarded. At least I recognize that there is a lie here. You don't recognize it. You, you think it is a good thing. If it is a good thing, then you will never give it up. Why? It's so useful. Why don't you tell your husband that you love somebody else? What? You want my marriage to be over? He's going to kick me out of this house? Look at your lives. The whole of your life is a lie. And I'm not talking about a spiritual point of view. From the material point of view also, it is a lie. There is dishonesty everywhere. People ask me, why is there so much suffering in this world? And the religious people ask me, why did God make everybody suffer? He created us and then he made everybody suffer. The problem is, you cannot look at your own stupidity. You cannot look at your own fakeness. Your whole life is a lie. It is your own creation. When I tell people that the world is a lie, world is an illusion, you think they are happy about it? No. <laughs> the first thing they will say is, you are lying. When I tell people, you are not a body, the first thing they will say is, did you just insult me? Do I look like nobody? What do you mean this body is not mine? It is mine. When you are living in such a deep lie, the result can only be suffering, pain, worthlessness, meaninglessness. And then you cannot complain that human life is nothing but suffering. Most of the time, this one thing is responsible for the whole of the suffering and that is lying. That is a deception. People deceive others, they deceive themselves, they delude themselves. So the natural outcome is immense amount of suffering. I can kill you, I can wipe out your whole country. Why? Why would you do that? Don't, don't you know me? I am superior kind. No sir, that's a lie. Who are you to tell me what is lie and what is truth? I decide what is truth. So people cause immense amount of damage. Not only to themselves but to everybody else. They make others suffer because they cannot differentiate between a lie and something which is right and honest. So when you take care of this one thing, your life will change. It will look like a miracle. Your job will change, your relations will change, your body will change, your mind will change, everything is going to change. You remove this one impurity of lying. It is so important. This impurity is so harmful and you can see the effects yourself. The truth will become a child's play for you if you, if you pay attention to how people fool themselves, how people delude themselves. This life will become easy peasy for you because it is really simple. For humans to be alive and to be happy is really simple thing. It has become a, a fake life for life. It has become a deception and that is why it is full of suffering.